I've been discussing Wayland on this channel for a very long time now, tracking its progress, keeping you guys updated on what's going on, whether it's desktop related with things like WL Roots, KDE, GNOME, specific desktop projects like Hyperland, whether it's protocol related with things like window positioning, tab dragging, HDR, so on and so forth, and even sometimes getting just a little bit into Wayland related drama. Now, throughout all this time, I've made it out like I'm just doing this for fun. I like covering Linux, I like covering Wayland, and I want you guys just to join in on the fun. But many of you guys have started to notice something, and I guess start to see through this. This guy's a Wayland shill. Brody should definitely be stopped to fix his shilling issue. You should try River. Wayland, Wayland shill. 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 Wayland shill Wayland is back. Shill. Yeah. But you're our Wayland wow. Shill. Listen so, to this shill. Wayland still shill. Wayland, 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 shill. Shill. Wayland Shill. Nor as a not native English speaker, what's a shill? A shiller. And I can't keep quiet about this any longer. I need to come clean, and I know this is going to get me in trouble with a couple of people, but I think you guys deserve to know about it. I've played into the Wayland Shill thing for quite a while now. It has been a really good way to hide you guys from the truth, to circumvent what's going on, and look, who's gonna believe that he's actually a Wayland shill if he is constantly joking about being a Wayland shill? So here goes. I actually am a Wayland shill. All of this Wayland coverage that I've been doing has been paid for by Red Hat. All of the positive things I've said about Wayland, complete nonsense, I don't believe a single one of them. Wayland is not ready for the average user. And if I'm being honest, it is never actually going to be ready. So, you know how I show you these people arguing on GitLab all the time? You'll see all these big threads. I need to tell you something about that as well. Those aren't developers arguing. All of that is fake. All of those people paid actors, none of them are actually developing anything. If I'm being honest, I don't think a single one of them actually use Linux. Okay, there is one exception, that being Neil Gomper, he does use Linux, but everybody else, paid actor. So going forward, I won't be using Wayland, I won't be covering Wayland, I won't be talking about Wayland. Wayland is garbage. There is no reason that anybody would actually want to go and use it. Okay, there's actually more that needs to be said. I haven't lied so far, but there is more to the truth, and I, I don't know if I can say it, but we've already come this far, so screw it, I guess. That next paycheck isn't going to come anyway, so who cares? Let's just keep going from here. So you know how there's this connection between Free Desktop and Red Hat, and many of the projects under the Free Desktop banner are developed by Red Hat, whether that be Wayland or Xorg or a lot of the other things actually. Well, this relationship between the two of them isn't actually the way it seems, it's not entirely true. Wayland has been described as this new graphical solution for the Linux desktop, but it's not actually new. I don't just mean it's not actually new because it's like 15, 16 years old now. What I mean is Wayland has been here before any of us. Wayland is actually the mastermind behind all of this. Have you noticed this weird little trend with these projects? X11, X Window System, XDG, FDO, red, hat, three letters, three words, three letters, three letters, three letters, three letters. What has three sides? A triangle. Have you ever looked closely at the Wayland logo? You might say, that's just a W. No, that's not just a W. It's a lot more than a W. Absolutely none of you noticed, it has been hiding in plain sight this entire time. What if I showed you this? 
Now do you see the truth? Wayland isn't just a graphical protocol. It is much, much, much more than that. Now you might be asking, well, who's actually funding Big Wayland? If Wayland is behind everything, they've got to be getting money from somewhere. Obviously, IBM is involved. Once again, another set of three. But IBM isn't the mastermind behind everything either. There is a much bigger worry. Wayland is actually controlled by Microsoft. People talk a lot about embrace, extend, extinguish. That's nonsense. That is a distraction to make you miss the thing that is right in front of you. Wayland was created to destabilize the Linux ecosystem, get people arguing about a graphical solution that doesn't need to exist. Get people arguing about this, completely ignore what's actually happening, and let Microsoft dominate the operating system industry. The last time we were truly safe on Linux was back in 2008. We should have never let X386 fall. It was called X386 because it was freeing us from the shackles of control. Xorg was an inside job created by Wayland. And there is just one man who stands on top of all of this, the mastermind behind everything, Linus Torvald. And I don't mean actually Linus Torvald. Linus is gone. Linus doesn't exist anymore. That's not really Linus. When you see Linus there, when you see Linus in the mailing list, that hasn't been Linus for a very long time. That is a skin suit worn by none other than Bill Gates. Oh no. Oh no. I said, I, 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 I said way too much. I said too much. I said way too much. <laughs>